Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to show you how to fix various different error codes on your AMD or NVIDIA graphics cards, and how to remove them completely from your system, and then to reinstall them so they work properly. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, properly remove graphics cards from your computer to prevent issues like the uh, error 43 and various different OpenCL errors, all those kinds of things. To be completely honest with you, there isn't a wrong or a right way of doing this. All it means is, is it working for you? If it works for you, then do it however you choose. I'm just going to give you a few sort of tips and hints and things that you can try to do to try and rectify your own problems. Uh, you can go completely overboard and basically just reinstall Windows to get this working, but most people don't want to do that. They just want to replace their graphics card or just get it working. So in this particular video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing my GeForce GTX 1650 Super from the PC, and I'm going to be completely removing all the software, and then I'm going to be installing a Radeon RX 584GB. Um, essentially, they're both the same card power-wise, so there's not really a lot in them but they do have vastly different software and vastly different drivers. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so let's get some uh, prerequisites. Let's download all the software that we're gonna need to try and rectify this fault or to install our graphics cards. So let's open up a web browser and the first thing we probably wanna do is to download an AMD driver because we're currently going from NVIDIA to AMD. So let's go to amd.com and then we want drivers and support. And then we want to find our product. So graphics, and ours is a 500 series, and it's an RX 500 or well, 580. So we'll choose that driver, hit submit, and we're on Windows 10, 64 bit. So let's see what is available. Now we've got various optional drivers here. Um, there's the Pro software. There is the Adrenaline 2020 20.2.2. Now this is the recommended WHQL, which is the Windows Hardware Certified driver which is your best option in my personal opinion you can go for the optional one but you may find there's slight bugs in there which have not been uh, fully fully resolved although saying that you may get up with the whql one so again entirely up to you i generally tend to go with the whql um, just uh, something i've always done so we're downloading that one that's downloaded if you do get an option if you're using a different browser such as chrome just choose download and save it to your downloads folder or desktop, whichever you choose to do. It doesn't really make a great deal of difference as long as you can find the file. So that's that started downloading as you can see down here. So that's got a little while to go. So the next thing to do is to, uh, let's do the other side and let's get some NVIDIA drivers. And we'll go to nvidia.com forward slash download. And we are currently with a GeForce and it is a 600 series, 600 super as it's already come up there. Windows 10, 64 bit again, this has got the game ready driver or the studio driver. If you're video editing, doing productivity, maybe you want to try using the studio driver, but if you're doing a, a mixture of tasks and you're doing gaming generally and a bit of other productivity, then the game ready driver is going to be absolutely fine. So we'll hit search on there. And on this page, we've now got the WHQL version, which is version 445.75. And that was released about a week ago. So uh, that'd be absolutely fine. So we'll hit download on that one and that'll download to our downloads folder as well. This is actually the new Edge browser, in case you're wondering uh, why it looks slightly different from what you may be using. You don't really get much uh, in the way of kind of interaction with downloads, but if you do get interaction with downloads, just try and choose a location where you can actually find it, such as your documents folder or your desktop, that kind of thing. So the next thing we're gonna also need is gonna be, let's make sure that's downloading. Yeah, there we go, that's downloading the secondary bit. The internet's a little bit slow at the moment due to the uh, human malware virus going around, so, this uh, may take a little bit longer than usual. Anyway, so the next part is we actually need something to clean up our system. So we're gonna use uh, DDU, which is the drive dis or display driver uninstaller. So type that into a search bar and don't go to the professional dent dental anemone for dentists. That's, uh, that'll be good for your teeth, but not so much for your graphics card. So go to the uh, display driver uninstaller. And I prefer to use the one from Guru3D. Um, it's always worked very well for me in the past, so that is where I generally tend to head over to. So when you get to this page, uh, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose a download location. We're in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to choose the United Kingdom mirror, and we'll click on that. After about five seconds or so, generally it will uh, start trying to download, it says. 
So yeah, it's just appeared in our downloads window. So that's already started. You can actually change the settings in this browser to uh, downloads not be automatically. If you, uh, if you choose to, I may well do a video on that to show you if you, uh, if anyone's interested. Anyway, so we've got our um, DDU file is downloaded and the others are currently downloading. So whilst we're waiting for those, let's do some uh, file work on the drive uninstaller. So if you open up our downloads folder and here is our guru.3d display driver uninstaller. Now currently it's in a compressed file. So right click on it and choose extract all and then hit extract. And then this will give you a couple more folders and now we've got an application, but this application, as you can see, is still in a compressed file. So if we click on it, we get the option to extract and we'll extract it into another folder in this particular folder. So click on extract and then we get another folder. So this now contains our DDU version 18.0.2.3. And if we take a look inside of there, that is where we've got all of our individual settings and the actual application itself. So to make life easier, the things do now go up a level and I would highlight that folder, sorry, that file, press delete and the Guru 3D one and press delete. So now if you open up the DDU, that is the only files and folders you've got there. So hopefully you shouldn't make any mistakes. Uh, you can always get rid of the compressed folder as well. So you know exactly where it is. So it's just one file in this one, this is the one we wanna use. And uh, when we're gonna use this in a minute, we're gonna be using it in safe mode. So we're gonna reboot into safe mode in a moment. And uh, as soon as the uh, the files are finished downloading, which this one's had a network issue, so we'll uh, we'll try and resume this one. Again, the, uh, we are having issues with the internet at the moment all around the world. So yeah, <laughs> do bear with us. So we're gonna let that carry on downloading. And when that's downloaded, we'll go back into the system and I'll show you how to reboot into safe mode. Okay, so that's all of our files downloaded. So we can close down our browser window and close down any other windows that are open. So now we need to restart in safe mode. Uh, easiest way of doing this is if you click on the Windows icon at the bottom and press on it. When you've got your mouse hovering over the power button, click on power and then hold down the shift key and then press on restart and just keep your uh, finger on the shift button until you get the safe mode menu come up in a minute. And there we go. So we get to choose an option. So now you can release the shift key. And now what you want to do is click on troubleshoot and then advanced options. And then we want to choose uh, where we start up settings. And this gives you the option to start in, uh, in safe mode. So click on restart now. And now we get our startup settings. So what we want to do is we want to just enable safe mode. So choose number four. You can also choose number three, enable low resolution mode. That does kind of the same thing, but some of the Windows services will still be running. So not really advisable, but if you're having trouble, well, if you're having problems with Windows itself, you can try number three, but number four is the one you want to choose. So I'm going to hit number four and then that will go into safe mode. So now when you get to this point, Normally you'd put in your PIN number, but as you can see, it does say on the screen password, not PIN. So if you get any problems, you make sure that you do put in your password. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in. Okay, so here we are in safe mode. So now what we need to do is click on the folders again, go into our download section and go into our DDU folder, which we've cleaned up a little bit. So here is our display driver uninstaller. So what we need to do now is to right click on it and choose run as administrator. And you'll get come up with this message saying it seems to be the first time you launched DDU. Uh, obviously do read these things and obviously as per their instructions, my advice to you is exactly the same. So this could make things worse. Uh, you should have a backup. So if you haven't got a backup, stop, go back, back up your system if you possibly can and make a backup. It's very important you do that. If you haven't, then uh, well, yeah, this is up to you. So next one, you should read the license to read me and the terms of service, which is in the folder, which we had. And as it says there, we are not responsible for any damage or loss of data of any kind. And we are always willing to help if there is a problem that goes from myself and the team over at DDU. And if you do want to have any additional help, uh, we do have a Discord chat server, which you're more than welcome to join. Links in the video description. 
So with that out of the way, let's click on OK. And this is our general options. So you can change these if you want to. Generally, it's probably best if you leave them as they are. Uh, the one thing I would probably remove is uh, this bit here, show offers from our partners, because, well, you don't really want adverts on the side, do you? Or maybe you do. Anyway, so that is the options done. So this is the main actual system or the main kind of uh, program. So on the log file here, it detects what it can. So it's showing that it's detected at NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Super. Now you probably have, or potentially you've got a ton of different drivers and uh, things that have been selected here or found here, especially if you're having problems. And that is because the system thinks that all of those devices are either installed and active or installed and conflicting. So this will list them all. This is a pretty clean setup. I've only installed Windows very, very recently, but I wanted to go through this to make sure that when I install the next graphics card, it's absolutely clean, perfect for benchmarking purposes so that I can get a really good, accurate testing setup between the GTX 1650 Super and the RX 580. So anyway, moving on. So there's options you can do here. So you can do clean and restart, clean and do not restart, and clean and shut down. That's especially if you're installing a new graphics card, that makes a lot of sense. What you can do over this side is select what you want to do. So if you're having problems with audio, then you can choose audio in this. So wherever you've got a sound blaster, wherever you've got a real tech sound card, which is causing you grief, you can actually repair it with this, which a lot of people don't know. So if you have got sound problems, then this is definitely a good place to start. But we're uh, looking at GPU side of things today. So at the moment we want to remove Nvidia. You can choose if you want to, to remove AMD or Intel. This is Intel section is uh, especially appropriate. If you have a Intel CPU that has onboard graphics and you're installing an Nvidia card or AMD card and you don't want them to conflict and you are going to disable it in BIOS, then it's definitely worth getting rid of the Intel drivers. But anyway, like I said, this is the Nvidia version, so we're going to get rid of that now. Also, potentially worth doing is to click on this bit here where it says set Windows device installation settings to default. That means automatically install drivers. Now, there's a very good reason for that, which I'll go into after this is rebooted. So you may want to set that uh, to automatically install. Alternatively, if you don't want it to automatically install and you don't want the WHQL drivers, then at this point now is a good time to actually unplug your internet connection so that when Windows does reboot, it doesn't automatically install drivers from the internet. If you've got a USB device for Wi-Fi, obviously make sure that's unplugged as well. But if you don't want it to install over the automatic updates from Windows, then yeah, unplug now. So anyway, we'll do uh, clean and do not restart. Now again, this can cause issues like a black screen, but we're gonna go through the clean anyway. So as you can see now from the log file which is being created is uninstalling, doing all the things it needs to do, removing the HD audio drivers from the HDMI port, all that kind of stuff, and the display port. Yep, basically going through and doing as thorough a cleanup as it possibly can. Now if you've had um, NVIDIA cards and AMD cards in your system previously, it's actually probably worth running both the NVIDIA and the AMD one just to be on the safe side. So there we go. So clean is uninstall completed. Would you like to exit now? So actually we won't bother. What we'll do is we'll go to AMD now and we'll, uh, we'll do a clean and do not restart again for the AMD side of things. Again, depending on your setup, you may need to do uh, either of these or both of these. Again, essentially it is entirely up to you. If you're running an AMD system with an APU, I would probably suggest not doing the AMD driver one. So uh, yeah, choose whichever you want to do. So clean and install completed, would you like to exit now? So we'll exit now, and then we can go into our normal settings and just hit restart. Okay, so during the uh, shutdown, we've actually removed the old graphics card. So we've taken out the GTX 1650 Super, and we've put in our AMD RX 580. And actually, I think from the look of the screen already, it appears to have taken the drivers already from uh, the Windows catalog. So yeah, it does appear that we have got the right resolution already. So let's take a look in Device Manager and uh, see what it's saying in Display Adapters. No, sorry, we are at the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for Windows Update to uh, find it, or alternately, you can just click on the scan for hardware changes. You can if you want to, you can uh, uninstall that device. And then do scan for new drivers. It will do the basic display adapter again, but it does kind of force it to go and look for new drivers. 
Alternately, you can just sit and wait or click on settings, go in the settings cog, update and security, and just do check for updates. And just leave this running for a little bit. You probably will see eventually the screen will flicker on and off, which we'll, uh, we'll try and capture on video for you. And there we go, so updates available. It's actually realized the fact that it's got an AMD graphics card, the display driver, and the uh, download is pending. And also it's uh, still trying to do the NVIDIA one for some reason, but I think that's probably because it keeps a library of kind of default drivers, but we'll go through and let it do the download and uh, see what happens. So we had our device manager flickered there. So that means it's actually, as you can see on the left hand side, it says pending install. So Microsoft in, uh, is getting ready, doing something in the background. We're waiting for our Microsoft Basic Display Adapter to uh, disappear and be replaced. There we go, there's our screen flicker, which we were expecting or hoping for. And the telltale sign there. And there we go, there's our lovely Windows noises to say that it's all good. So as you can see there, it says display adapters, Radeon RX 580 series. That is exactly what we were hoping for. So that's the perfect solution for us currently. And as it says there, your hardware settings have changed. Please reboot your computer for these changes to take effect. Now at this point, if you click OK, it will uh, it will try and reboot. I believe you may have to automatic. Uh, you may have to manually do a reboot. I honestly can't remember. It's been a little while. So we will uh, click OK. Yep, it's not done anything drastic. So there we go. So we can. Uh, it's still trying to do the NVIDIA thing for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but essentially we've got our system up and running. And if we look down here, no, at the moment we don't have the ATI logo or the sort of the AMD logo. That generally comes in a little bit later after the reboot. So let's try a quick reboot and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so there is a reboot done and it's gone back into Windows. We've got our uh, proper resolution for this particular screen, which is uh, 1080p. So if we, if we go into advanced display settings, yeah, we've got our RX 580 installed. So as it stands, the driver is installed and you could go ahead and use the system exactly as it is. If you wanted to get the extra features uh, from either of the graphics drivers, such as the kind of screen capture and all that kind of stuff, Go into your download section and you can run the appropriate installer. So the uh, Radeon Adrenaline for the AMD cards or the uh, NVIDIA GeForce version for GeForce cards. Again, you don't necessarily have to. If you have been having problems with either of those drivers, uh, you can actually leave the system as it is and it will be quite functional as, as it runs now. But like I said, you can install those if you want to. Now, I'm not going to bother installing those for now because I'm only doing some benchmarks. Then I'm going to install the driver and see if there is any difference between them. I don't think there's going to be any difference whatsoever apart from things like being able to do screen captures and all that kind of stuff. So, yep, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's our graphics card removed and the new one installed and everything's running fine. We've got no OpenCL error, errors, no error code 206s or error code 43s, all that kind of stuff. Everything is running entirely as it should do. So there you go, we've removed our Zotac Gaming, the 1650 Super from the system, and we've replaced it with a RX 584GB. Now we're going to do some benchmarks between the two, so if you want to see those, make sure you click on the subscribe icon and notifications and all that kind of usual YouTube stuff, and you'll see the video notifications when they're released. So hopefully that has sorted out any of your driver problems with either AMD or NVIDIA graphics cards. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below or join us on our Discord server, of which there will be links in the description below. So you can jump on there and ask us any technical questions or if there's anything you couldn't quite follow, we can go into some depth to try and help you. So that pretty much wraps things up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.